Okay, so a couple years ago, Apple was already rumored to be working on bringing a new type of display technology to their laptops and their iPads and potentially iMacs that would greatly improve the image quality of their devices. And this was tech called mini LED displays. Now, because Apple is a super rich company and they spent a lot of their money on R&D, everyone thought that they would come out with it first. Like they would be the first guys to bring out mini LED consumer mobile devices. But somehow, somehow, they got beat by MSI. This is the MSI Creator 17, and it is the first mini LED based laptop on the market. And it is awesome. Like the screen is fantastic. Now, because this is tech that's going to be appearing in MacBooks, and it, you know what, it's not just that. This is tech that I think will be going into basically every kind of high end laptop and high-end tablet going to the future because it's just so much better. And this is the way that I think the industry will be moving forward with screens on laptops, not OLED screens like we kind of hoped they would in the past. Now, uh, and this is not even at full brightness. It gets crazy bright. All right, how do we do this? Let's talk about mini LEDs first and what they are and what makes them so special. So a mini LED display gives you a brighter screen with way higher contrast ratios and you get better color accuracy. And those are the three kind of characteristics or factors that you would take into consideration when you judge image quality on a device. You get some of the advantages that OLED panels offer, but without issues like flickering and lifespan and color accuracy, things that we've seen with OLED panels and laptops, mini LED is some banging stuff. So the traditional kind of high quality IPS display is an LCD panel backlit with LEDs. And they can look pretty good. I mean, companies have been working on this formula forever, right? They've had like literally seven or eight years with the same kind of tech. We've seen so little improvement with IPS panels and laptops. It's kind of weird it's lasted this long, but you can only go so far. This type of screen is lit with LEDs that are around a millimeter in size. And these LEDs together make a wall or a panel of light that can be brightened or dimmed together. They have to be adjusted as a whole panel. Like there's no individual adjustment of those LEDs. And that sets limitations on what a panel like this can do. With mini LEDs, they're a lot smaller. They're 0.2 millimeters in size. And because of their size, this laptop can do something I've never seen another laptop do before. It has local dimming. The mini LED display has 240 zones that will automatically turn up and down the backlighting based on the image. So for brightly lit sections of the image, those zones will crank it up. And then for sections of the image that are dark, those zones will dim down. And what you end up with is a very high contrast ratio. So your blacks are very black instead of like a dark gray and your whites are very white, like crazy white. Now granted, it's not an OLED panel. This will never be like perfect blacks. They won't be, you know, a million to one contrast ratio, but it's way better than your traditional IPS panel. And because you get such good contrast ratios with mini LED, you get proper HDR, like full blown VESA certified HDR peaking at a thousand nits. The color accuracy on this display is also really good. You get 100% DCI-P3, very low delta E's, and you don't have any of the screen flickering that OLED panels have. This is an awesome screen. I think this is the best looking 17 inch panel that's available on the market. The one thing that I don't love about it is the refresh rate. It's a 60 hertz panel, which is kind of expected on a content creation device. But despite that low refresh rate, I enjoyed playing games on this thing just because of how colorful it is. Like it's a weirdly, bright and weirdly just vibrant image. It is so nice. Okay, this screen is the, it's the thing that makes the laptop. It really is the thing that defines the MSI Creator 17. If you are interested in this device, I'll just do like a quick review on it. This is a, I mean, it's a creator oriented device, right? It's very powerful for creative work. It has an eight core CPU. It has an RTX 2080 Max-Q. It's got some serious chops. The performance is good, but the temperatures run a little hot. And I think they do it because they wanna keep the fan noise relatively low on a machine like this. But the fan noise on idle is still audible. And I don't think it should be, like especially if you have all the settings down to like super quiet or whatever, it should be a very or near silent system. And it isn't for whatever reason. I think they can fix that with software, but in its current state, it is not quiet enough in my opinion. Okay. The IO on this thing, it's got your kind of standard port layout. You got three USB A's, two USB C's. It's got an ethernet jack, which is a bit of a plus, but the SD card slot is a micro SD, which is like on a creative laptop, 
who's using micro SD? I feel like that should just be a regular SD slot. The keyboard feels nice. It's a little soft to type on, but I personally like it. It does have a weird kind of like slash and enter key configuration that you often see with MSI keyboards. And because of the number pad, it's got this weird arrow key cluster that kind of blends the number pad with the regular keyboard. Uh, but I think most people will enjoy typing on this thing. And the trackpad, this wide trackpad with a fingerprint sensor on the top left, it's a solid trackpad. The speakers are, they're no good. If they were good, I'd be talking about them, but they're not. Okay, uh, internally, you get two NVMe slots, you get replaceable Wi-Fi, but they already give you a great Wi-Fi 6 card from Intel, and you get an 82 watt hour battery, which doesn't give you crazy battery life. I got four hours with the screen at 250 nits. If you crank the screen to brightest, like the maximum setting, I got a little bit less than two hours. That's just the way it is. I think brightness of screen really affects battery life when it comes to laptops. But that's the Creator 17. If you're interested in that mini LED life, this is the only machine that has it right now, but the tech will be coming to MacBooks relatively soon and a whole slew of other devices in the near future. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. I'll see you guys next time.